Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to teach you the secrets of how to enter and exit like a pro. I've come to realize that if you have the knowledge of how to enter the market, you can make money, but if you don't know how to exit, all the money that you have made, you can lose it again. So in this video, I will show you how to master both sides. And I don't know why sometimes when we start buying a market or selling a market, we are so glued in one side and we don't realize when the market shift from either buying to selling. So for instance, there's someone who may enter a market and they know this is an uptrend and they come and place their buy after retracement. Once they place their buy, so they have been making all this money. So they make the money. So maybe let's say they, they enter here. So here they place their buy trade. And then now they are making money, they're in profit. Majority of people have come to realize they don't know how to exit if the market starts to go against them. So they, they are holding their buy position and the sellers are coming in and without them realizing, they start to enter into negatives and the market changes direction. And this is where either you blow your account or you go to massive losses. So yes, people know how to enter, but they don't know the shift of exiting the side that they are on and entering the other side. You can be selling, for instance, you can know this is a downtrend. There's a reason why I am trading, I'm selling. And you can enter your sell around this area. So here you place your sell. You can place your sell because of the reasons you have spotted in the market. And for some time you are making money and maybe you are hoping, oh, the take profit will be at that support. Sometimes what we are looking forward to for the TP to be hit is something so small because already you have a lot of money. But because you don't know that you should exit that trade, the, the buyer starts to come in and sometimes you may, thaw, may, may think it's just an innocent retracement, but what you thought is an innocent retracement continues and reverse on you. So if you have ever found yourself in such a case, this is the video for you. And how what I can tell you is that make sure you watch it at the end and make sure this video hit 10,000 views by sharing on Telegram. There are so many groups that are sharing Forex information. And if you share this video to them, they can still learn something and enjoy. And once I once I see this video starting to get 10,000 views, I can teach you guys even more strategies that I have already been back testing. So the only way for me to give more is to know that people are watching, they're appreciating. So the only thing you can do is to comment, like the video and share the video. When we say share this video, we really mean it, share make sure you share in, let's say, two to three groups on Telegram, Facebook, WhatsApp, all those groups, okay? So I have come to realize that people may know how to trade because I teach here two patterns that I tell people, if you want to, to master your entries and your exit, you have two patterns. And the first pattern is the double top. And the second pattern is the double, the double bottom. So these patterns, you have to know that how do I enter this double top? How do I enter the double bottom? Whichever time frame that you will find, either for our daily, weekly, whichever time frame, you have to know if I find my double top on the daily, uh, I will trade this way. If I find it on four hour, I will trade this way. So come to think of a double top. First of all, we want to look for sale opportunity. Anytime you have a double top, you're looking for sale opportunity. And if at all your double top is from the monthly and then weekly or daily, which strategy will we use? We use WBB strategy. I have done a video on the WBB strategy so you can finish the video and go and watch it. So if we are looking for sale opportunity, monthly, weekly, daily, we are looking for WBB strategy. But if at all we find the double top on four hour, if I find it on four hour, I will use CSB strategy. So these are some of the things that you need to have mastered, okay? So if I have a double bottom, 
In this case, if I have a double bottom, I am looking for buy opportunity. And then because it's uh, for, the, for the monthly, again, I will repeat, monthly, daily, weekly, I will use WBB. So WBB strategy is, is used for both, either double top and double bottom. If it is four hour, I will use ERB strategy. Now that is the basic information for everyone to know what I mean. So if I show you with a diagram, here is a double top. So I can have a double top like this. So first attempt, and then I come to the second attempt. So here my entry, so here my entry is this double top. I can either use WBB or CSB. And my exit will be if the, I have a green, uh, a green candle violating um, that double top. So I have an entry and I've shown you, your entry is either w, uh, CSB so it's either CSB on four hour or WBB on other time frame. So that is my entry. But when you talk of double bottom, when you talk of double bottom, and I want to enter in such a case, uh, my entry will be CRB. So the reason why I keep recapping is because, you know, people are different. There are people who they take time to understand. There are people who don't take much time to understand. So at the end of the day, you will not say, oh, but they didn't understand what she was saying. And the exit of this double bottom is if at all the market comes and violates that double bottom. So when you're trading, you already have a clue what to look for. So with that being said, can we try to look for an opportunity using the two patterns? So anytime, I have an uptrend and I keep saying this, the, yes, we have two patterns, double top, double bottom, but the double bottom, you can have a double bottom on an uptrend. And this is what I always mean when I say a double bottom on an uptrend. So that is my double bottom on an uptrend. The market is on an uptrend, but you have a double bottom. Anytime you have a double bottom on an uptrend, it is easier to trade, but still you can have a double bottom on a downtrend. So the market can be coming down and then you have a double bottom on a downtrend. So I hope this one still, it's an information you need to understand. And then after that, we can have a double top on an uptrend, which is again, hard to trade. A double top on an uptrend is something looking like that. Why is it hard to trade? We are, the, the, the structure is buying, but the pattern is telling us to look for sale. So it becomes hard for the sellers to come in and the trend is uptrend. But sometimes you have a double top on a downtrend, which is so easy for sellers to take it down because the trend overall is a sale. These are some of things that you need to watch because we are talking of entry and exit. So if you know these things, more so if you know that you have a double top on a, a trend and you're trying to sell it and it is it's not giving you entry, that's the reason why. So let's now go to our chat and I hope with that information, you'll be able to tell what is happening. So the first thing that I will note is that this is my uptrend. So this is an uptrend market. You can see we are from here and the market is going up. So this is kind of an uptrend and I have said uptrend, I can have two, two patterns. I can have a double top on an uptrend. So this is the uptrend pattern. I can have the double top or I can have the double bottom. So when I have a, a double top or an uptrend, it is hard to trade. But when I have a down, down, a double bottom on an uptrend, it's a bit safer to trade because double bottoms, they come to push the market to go up. Okay. So According to the time frame that you're checking, so according to daily, as we can see that we have an uptrend. So we want to check which pattern do we have. Do we have a double top? So here 
we don't even have a double top because if I check on my left, where the market, why is this market selling? If I check on the left, I do not have that pattern. So it's not selling because there's a double top. So that is something that you need to note. The market is not selling because of the double top. You can see we do not have that double top. So it's not selling because of the double top. So why, what is happening? So where the market currently is, and it has stopped for two good days. So you can see this indecision candles day. It's like it's telling you, we don't even understand what is happening in this market. Yes, it's an uptrend. So we don't know that what, what the market is doing, the sell, we don't know. Is this sell a reversal? So the, this is the question that you now you should ask yourself for, to get an entry. Is it, is it a reversal? Or is it a retracement? You know, if you don't ask yourself this question, you'll be biased in the market. So you have to check it in a, in a lens of what if the market wants to reverse. But if you take the bigger picture, why is it reversing? There was no like a double top. Why would the market reverse it? And again, you ask yourself, if it is a retracement, has it reached the end to retrace? Now, anytime I find the market that is uh, on a on a like a rejection, we had a very big move. Then we have this indecision candle. The only thing, and I, I can't see anything on the daily. I already know that the pattern is hidden on the lower time frame. So once I go to four hour, I want you to see the magic that four hour has hid. So when I go to four hour, I want you to check carefully what four hour has. Four hour has this hidden double bottom. You may never see it on the daily. You may never see it on the daily, but it is hidden on four hour. So once you, you notice, by the way, we have a double bottom. And the next question that will come to you, this is a double bottom on an uptrend. So it is easier to trade it. It is easier to trade it to go up because if the retracement is over, the market is easier to trade. Not this double bottom is OPT because OPT is one pattern on one time frame. So here I don't have a support on the daily. So it makes it OPT. You can imagine all the clues of entry. So if you know that this is a double bottom on the four hour and it's not on the daily, so you can see we have a double bottom on four hour that is not on the daily. I will start marking my zones. So I'll come here, mark my mark my uh, resistor, my neckline, and then mark my target. So we want to know where will we exit? Where is our exit zone? So that is exactly what you'll have. Now, if you have a double bottom on four hour, we are looking for CRB strategy. So here is CRB strategy. And CRB, we talk of current resistance. If I don't say current resistance, all these are resistance. So the reason why we say current resistance is to differentiate which resistance will I take. Will I pick the first one? Will I pick the second one? Will I pick the third one? Which one? That's why we talk of current resistance. So majority of people ask us, why do you say of current resistance? So current resistance is uh, where the market currently is because resistance is followed is a green candle followed by red. You'll just be waiting for this market to break that current resistance. And you can see, guys, this is immediately. Imagine this trade. Um, also, when you're trading AUD pairs, you have to wake up early in the morning, like 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 1 a.m., because AUD, they are active at night if you're in Kenya. So this was exactly at 4 a.m. That's when the candle broke. So you can imagine you're being given opportunity to buy at 4 a.m., and majority of you, you are sleeping. So if you find yourself you're trading AUD pairs, you have to wake up every day early for those opportunities. And you can imagine uh, it is not as hard as people may put it. So those are 83 pips. Here you decide, do I want the 83 pips? Do I want the 40 pips? Do I want the whole thing? It's you to decide, okay? So let's see what happened. So the market started to go up and sometimes it ranged and at the end of the day, let's see what happened. At the end of the day, the market broke. We hit our TP and also broke our half. I have told you guys, 
to trade double tops, double bottoms from the area of entry to half is the easiest. When you come to the half, because half now has broken and you attempt to enter this buy, you have now underlying, you, you have to have underlying, you have to have underlying, uh, they are called what? Underlying other strategies. And this is what I teach in my course. So once the half has been broken, you might think, oh, I will trade up to there. I will trade up to there. But you have to understand that there are so much underlying things. That is 121 pips. Let's go back to the daily and you will see what I'm seeing. Now you have, you have been given an entry on four hour and you can see on the daily where you are targeting, the market can still produce a double top. It can still produce a double top. So you're thinking by the time I'm trying to target uh, all the way, what if it produce another double top because they can do this, they can start producing another double top. So you will be, this is a caution trade, but for those who are my students, they would already know why I'm saying that because there's other strategies that you trade. And you can see just by market breaking half on four hour, the market is still continuing to buy. Imagine you enter here and the market is still continuing to buy and it's buying crazy. So if at all you don't know the strategy and you're buying this, you already know if at all things would go badly, how do I look for exit? So I want to show you how to look for exit when you are trading double bottom or double top. Let's say you have made, and you see when the market broke half, the market even another 88 pips. Let's say you wanted exactly the market to hit TP, but you have to, ex to, to say, I will be looking forward for an exit. So the market gave you a red candle followed by green. So we have a support created and you can see the market started to range and you, you are waiting for TP to be hit. And I know there are people who are so ignorant and what people, majority of traders, what they do, once they know they're in profit, they close that trade and they open new position. At this point, majority of traders are ignorant. So many people have seen the double bottom. And the reason why they keep reversing is because now majority have seen the double bottom. Now it's you, once they know this is a double bottom and majority of traders have seen, they have to, to reverse the market. So how do you exit? Entry was so good. Everything was so good. Uh, you used CRB, you used half. Entry people don't have a problem, but they have a problem with exit. So I want to show you how to exit. You can see the market still has created a new support. You can see we have a red candle followed by green. That's a new support. So if you are still holding a buy on this trade, it's easy to exit. And your rule will be if they break out of that, I'm coming out. So this is your exit area. This is your exit area. And this is where if you had opened new positions, if you had thought, oh, now we are buying, we are breaking neckline. I know many people who they buy and they are just hoping, trading hope. You're hoping that the market will still continue buying. This is your exit. So this trade, I was showing you your entry and your exit. If you didn't spot this exit, and once you spot this exit, you're still in profit because it's too early. You have you have spotted too early. You're still in profit if you had not closed the trade, or if you had opened your position around this area. You're not in much drawdown. If you fail to exit at that area, I want to show you what happened. The market really went down. You can see, you can see, guys. That is the outer mark of the market. So you may have entered a very good trade, made money but you are blinded still keeping buying. That's why I tell people, any trade that you enter, you must have a clear entry, a clear target and a clear exit. So majority of people, maybe they missed the target because they think when half you enter, your tip is here and you stop maneuvering, you stop target, you stop looking at it. If your target is there, you still need to be outlook of the exit. Imagine, did that account really, survive? No. So I hope this video was clear enough. I hope you have gained a lot of information, a lot of knowledge. It's my prayer that you continue to learn. If you have enjoyed my lessons, if you have enjoyed my teachings, I have a paid mentorship program for international students. I do Zoom, uh, Zoom class one-on-one. -on -one. 
every month. Every month I do Zoom one-on-one -on -one class uh, and I charge $1,500. So the slots for the next month of October are available. If you're watching this video when October has already passed, it means that you can just WhatsApp me. Let me give out my number because people like impersonating me. You see how people like saying, oh, I, I do Bitcoin. Those are not me. And that's why I said it's better I tell people what I offer because I don't want you to be scammed. So this is my number. As long as you're watching this video, I have not changed my number. You can WhatsApp me. Tell me what you want. If you want my recorded classes, it's a thousand dollars. If you want one strategy, a hundred dollars. If you want a Zoom one-on-one -on -one mentorship for international students that goes for one month, is fifteen hundred dollars. It's you to choose. If you don't want paid mentorship, I will always post a video at three p.m. Kenyan time here on my YouTube channel. You are welcome to watch it and make sure once you watch, you share it in at least three Telegram groups. Share it on WhatsApp group, share it on YouTube, share it, share, share it. Please do keep up. My goal is my videos to start having a uh, 10,000 views count. Okay. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Love you.